today i am going to demonstrate you how to fix the posterior medial condyle of the upper end of the tibia through posterior medial approach the positioning of the patient the use of bolster the reduction technique and putting how to put the plate everything i will explain you on this patient now this is a case of bicondylar fracture where you can see this is the medial condyle which is fractured this is one of the fracture which you can see on the ct and this is the lateral condyle of the tibia which is fractured so it is a bicondylar fracture now coming to 3d ct if you see there is a lateral condylar fracture which can be seen here which is depressed and then the medial condyle fracture which is split in a coronal plane as you can see here and need to fix this fragment together and this is a undisplaced fracture of the posterior wall of the upper end of the tibia if you come to the 2d ct scan it reveals the same that this is the lateral condylar fracture and this is the medial condylar fracture and in coronal uh, sagittal plane you can see this is the coronal plane fracture of the tibia which needs to fix this is of the medial condyle fracture and if you come on the lateral side this is the fracture lateral condyle fracture which you can see very clearly and the axial cut which usually helps in planning of these fractures if you see the cuts on the upper end of the tibia these are the cuts which are important to plan the line of treatment so you can see this is the medial condyle fracture with a posterior fragment this is anterior fragment of the tibia and this is the lateral fragment or lateral condyle fracture so now my plan will be to first reduce this fracture together with a towel clip put temporary k wires and then fix with one screw that is either from anterior posterior or posterior anterior once these two condyles are fixed together and made a one piece then i will fix this medial condyle fracture of the tibia with the with the plate and buttress it on the posterior medial border uh and then the lateral condyle fracture which is uh, lateral condyle fracture which is fixed with a lateral condylar plate raft plate and then fixed on the lateral side my plan will be to go on the posterior medial approach as this patient has in medial condyle and lateral condyle fracture i prefer this patient to fix in a supine position make a figure of four position uh of the knee and then take a posterior medial incision and then first reduce this coronal split fragment fix it with temporary k wires and then a screw one or two screws from either anterior to posterior or posterior to anterior make this fragment a single piece and then fix a buttressing plate over the posterior edge of the tibia so fixing this fragment and then i will go and reduce this lateral condylar fracture and fix it with a raft plate so this will be my plan and we will start with the video demonstration of the surgery this is the patella this is the joint line this is tibial tuberosity this is the posterior condyle medial condyle and this is the and posterior medial border of tibia our incision will be 1 cm posterior to the posterior medial border of tibia which is going vertically just above the joint line and the extension is as per needed of the fracture site so mark this is the bolster which is kept to make the knee flex by around uh 25 to 30 degrees so that the neurovascular bundle will get posteriorly and there will be easy access to the uh, posterior condyle of the tibia now i am taking the incision along the posterior medial border of tibia i am going to extend up to here this is the going through the subcutaneous tissue no important structure which comes in this area no this is the medial gastrocnemius is i will just cut the fascia over here this compartment so now you can see the medial gastrocnemius is in front of you now this is this is posterior medial border of tibia which i can feel and now i am going to go exactly over the bone here and i'm going to elevate this it is done medial gastrocnemius subcostally and first start making a plane here so this medial gastrocnemius which has been reflected of the posterior border of the tibia along with the soleus muscle which is attached here fascia which i am cutting to here Thank mm -hmm. you.
आठ दिन दिस द ग्रेसलिस मसल व्हाट यू कैन सी हियर एंड द सेम रन्स विल बी हियर सो आई एम गोइंग टू आइसोलेट इट सेपरेटली एंड विल गो अप टू द एंटीरियर साइड दिस द सार्ट्रल फेशिया एंड द पोस्टीरियरली एज फार एज नीडेड सो दिस इज द फेस एंड स्ट्रेंस विच इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ माय आईज सो दिस इज द मिडिल कोलेट्रल लिगामेंट विच वी कैन सी हियर द शाइनिंग स्ट्रक्चर विच इज कमिंग फ्रॉम अबाउ अलॉन्ग विथ दिस इज इफ यू कैन सी ऑन दिस साइड दिस इज द यूजली सेमी मेमरानस विच इज गेटिंग अटैच टू द पोस्टर मिडिल बॉर्डर ऑफ द अपर एंड ऑफ द टीबिया सो आई एम गोइंग टू मेक अ प्लेन हियर बिटवीन द एम सी एल सो आई एम गोइंग टू गो एक्जैक्टली ओवर द पोस्टर मिडिल बॉर्डर एंड कटिंग दिस जंक्शन ऑफ द सेम मेरा नुस्खा सा नहीं सेल ये इधर का पड़ा और टू रिफ्लेक्ट द पेस एंड सिनेस आई डर प्रोग्रेसिंग और डिस्टली डिपेंड अपॉन द योर इंसिजन एंड योर डिसेक्टिंग इट आउट सो दिस इज लिटिल ट्रिकी एरिया एंड यूजुअली दिस पेस कम्स एट द लेवल ऑफ फ्रैक्चर सेट ऑलमोस्ट ऑलवेज सो हियर आई एम गोइंग टू कट द एम सेल अलॉन्ग विद सॉरी सेम रन असर यर सो आई एम इरेजिंग ऑल द सॉफ्ट इश्यूज और द पोस्टर साइड नाउ आई एम इन सेफ जोन बिकॉज ऑल द न्यूरोस्कल बंडल्स आर सेपरेटेड अलॉन्ग विद द मेडिया कैस्टोक्नीमियस एंड द पॉपुलटियस मसल सो हियर आई एम इलेवेटिंग द पॉपुलटियस ऑफ द पोस्टर कौन डाल सकती है तो नो यू कैन सी दे हियर इज़ द फ्रैक्चर लाइन सेक्शन दे हियर इज़ द फ्रैक्चर लाइन यू कैन सी हियर दिस इज़ द लूज पीस ऑफ फ्रैक्चर व्हिच इज़ देयर तो आई एम इलेवेटिंग दिस अटैचमेंट ऑफ़ द मेडियल कोलेट्रल लिगामेंट एंटीरियरली स्पाइस सो यू कैन गो इजीली अप टू posterior half of the tibial condyle from here as you can see here these are the blood clots this is the distal fragment and this is the proximal fragment of tibia so i am going to reduce it here see here there is a one fracture line in sagittal plane this is the anteromedial portion of the tibial condyle and this is the posterior medial portion of the tibial condyle so first i am going to fix this fragment with one k wire now this is the sagittal split i am going to fix it temporarily with Oil clip. There is no step and compression at the fracture site, and then I will fix it with K wire, 2.5 millimeter K wire, which can be then converted afterwards to uh, 4 mm CC screw. Now the traction has to be given in straight line in extension, and then we can reduce the fragment. If you can see here, it is done. Can see here. This is the fracture fragment. This is the vertical slit which has been fixed with the oil clip. Now this is the fracture of the proximal fragment. This is the distal fragment. Now I am going to reduce it slowly with the traction and uh, sort of external rotation. Fracture, it is reduced here. You can see and fix it with towel clip. Now once the fracture is, I am going to fix it with temporary K wires from proximal fragment to distal fragment. You can see my three wires are in different direction. Now. The reduction is stable. Now I'm going to put a plate here. I'm going to pass this posterior medial plate from distal to proximal, which is little bit easier, which I found. And this is my position of the plate fixation. I will just confirm under CM whether my this height is perfect. Now once I adjust the plate at the side, I am putting first a plain cortical screw to get the plate flush to the bone on the. Posterior side. You can see here now. I am reducing it so that it is acting as a buttress mode. So my screw is at the apex of the fracture side. Now, if you can see here, this is now completely compressed. This is fixation of proximal fragment with cancellous locking screws. So this will hold the proximal. I am going to put only the medial most two screws because if we put more on the lateral side, it will hold on the lateral fracture also. 
and it will be difficult to reduce the lateral fragment so this is fixed with only two screws this is my final construct this is the plate which is holding the posterior medial fragment going down and this is the distal fragment this is the base and sinus which is uh, isolated this is the uh, medial collateral ligament and this is the part of the that which has been reflected so i am going to switch it back here and this is the medial collateral and semigranus on the posterior medial aspect which i am going to close it which gives a good stability step so once you fix this important soft tissue the strength of muscles will be maintained and you can mobilize these patients as early as possible on day 2 so this is the advantage of putting the this strong soft tissues back to their original place now this is the medial collateral ligament and part of the semi membranous together which was cut which is again sutured back to giving a strength for early mobilization post op in this way subcutaneous tissue is closed and skin is sutured back and this is the post operative picture of closure of the wound this is the post op to x ray of same patient where the posterior medial condyle fracture is fixed with a buttressing posterior medial plate and the coronal split of medial condyle fracture fixed with antero posterior canalic cancer screw which is shown in this video the lateral condyle fracture is fixed with raft plate which is uh, done through antero lateral approach and this is a you can see the joint line is perfect and due to the stable fixation and a soft tissue which is sutured back we can immediately mobilize this patient on day 2 thank you